These sleek finishes are part of interior designer Naufal Abu Haider's latest project. But a year without a government or federal budget has made projects like these a rare occurrence. Now with a new government possibly in sight, the business owner hopes work will pick up. If a government has formed, a budget will be approved. Its passing will support the economy. If the budget is approved, the market will get a boost. The new government will have to tackle many of the problems Iraqis face on a daily basis, from inadequate public services like water and electricity to an unemployment rate of 14 percent. But most Iraqis, a quarter of whom live under the poverty line, have little hope that a new government will drastically improve their lives. Citizens do not believe that the government will bring about real change in access to services such as energy, health or education. And other investments are subject to bribery and extortion. In Tahrir Square, Iraqis staged mass protests three years ago, calling for an overthrow of the political class. But this hasn't led to the fresh faces in government that activists like Ali Dahamat called for. We can't associate with parties that have armed factions. So we have several options. Organize demonstrations or resort to civil disobedience. All eyes are on Shia cleric Muqtad al-Sadr. He's kept largely quiet since protests by his supporters this summer led to deadly clashes. Today, Sadr is waiting to see the public's reactions to the actions of the government. I think he will support all protest movements that seek to reform the system. Negotiations are ongoing as Sudani attempts to form a cabinet of ministers. With his deadline rapidly approaching, many wonder if Iraq will have a new government after all.